brilliant. Kazim and Anita there go away with £16,000. Great contestants. And lucky for Anita, the patient one was also the not completely sure one. Now it's time for our nine remaining pairs of newlyweds to play fastest finger first. Here comes the next question. Put these public schools in order from south to north. Ampleforth, Eton, Gordonston, Rugby. A lot of pressure on these nine, mainly from their partners in the audience, but they were the ones who made the call. Let's have a look. This is the right order. Don't forget, we're going from the south, so Eton. Uh, then going up to Rugby in the Midlands. Then it's Ample Fourth, and then Gordonston. So that's the right order, going south to north, remember? Now, nine left. How many got it right? These were correct. One, two, three, four, five. Who was fastest? Nick and Amy in 4.96 seconds. Well played, Nick. The back. Now, which one's Amy? She looks very nice. She's a babe. Are you sure you got the right one? I did. Got a play for a million quids? Of course you do. Strong handshake. Here we have uh, Nick Salway, a music teacher from Winchester in Hampshire, and his wife Amy, with a very strong handshake. He was born in America and uh, wants to be an artist. Nick and Amy got married last June and set off on their journey through life together on a tandem. <laughs> right, 15 questions. Three <laughs> new lifelines, £1 million. Pounds. Lots of luck, you two. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Question number one is for £100. Pounds. Which of these is a derogatory term for an actor or actress? Buffy, Divvy, Fluffy, Lovey. I have no idea. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's Lovey. Okay. Okay, Lovey it is. Final answer. Trust him? Yes. At this level? <laughs> you would think, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's the right answer. You've got £100. Oh, yeah. Lovey, 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 darling. Question number two is for £200. Here it comes. Which of these refers to a company considered to be a reliable investment? Green egg, blue chip, yellow bean, red sausage. Blue chip. <laughs> blue chip's the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> Question number three is for £300. Here it comes. Which of these was Conservative Party chairman in the 1980s? Norman Cook. Norman Tebbit, Norman Wisdom, <laughs> Norman Mailer, Norman Tebbit. It's the right answer, you got £300. <laughs> Question number four is for £500. What name is often given to something or someone who appears to be powerful but is in <coughs> fact weak? Paper Panther, Paper Leopard, Paper Cheetah, Paper Tiger. Yes. We'd like, no to ask, we'd like to ask the audience. We haven't got any idea. I've never heard of any of those. OK, audience, on your keypads, please. Here's the question. Let's get Amy and Nick up to 500 quid. This is the question. What name is often given to something or someone who appears to be powerful but is, in fact, weak? A, B, C or D, all vote now. Oh, look at their little faces. Look, they're looking <laughs> terribly pleased with themselves. <laughs> it's your call. Paper Tiger, please, Chris. Never Death. heard of it ever, ever? No. no. It's the right answer. You've got £500. Pounds. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you never had a good thing, Nick. <laughs> well, no, there is a good thing. There's, well, two good things. Firstly, you're, you're through to 500 quid. The other good thing is you have not used all your lifelines up on one question. <laughs> That's true. Um, you've still got two left. In fact, I can't remember anybody using up all three lifelines on the £300 stage. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five is for £1,000 guaranteed. Come on, let's get up there. Here it comes. Which of these airports is in Scotland? Prestwick, Gatwick, Stansted, Lyd. It's Prestwick. Are you sure? Yep. It's the right answer. You got £1,000. What play? <laughs> you got there. Okay, you got a thousand pounds. Amy, what do you think 
might be the problem areas for you as an American. How, how long have you been? All of them. <laughs> oh, all of them. <laughs> yes. Right. OK, you've got a thousand pounds. That's guaranteed. Question number six is for two thousand. You're five away from the next big milestone of thirty-two thousand pounds. In Coronation Street. Oh, good. You've only been here a year. What is Kevin Webster's occupation? Butcher, mechanic, doctor, factory owner. Now, it's been going for 40 years. In fact, it's been going more than 40 years. Amy's missed 39 of them. <laughs> so you're on your own here, Nick Salway. We've got to phone Carol. Carol. Yes. Got to phone yes. Carol. Got She's our phone. only hope. <laughs> She's our only hope. <laughs> OK. Will she know this? It's so sad. <laughs> it's not. Positive, come on. We've got a thousand pounds. Hello? Carol? Yeah? Hi, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm uh, sort of dreading this happening, though. No, no, no. You remember you agreeing? <laughs> yeah, I did agree, friend. yes. <laughs> remember you agreed that to Nick and Amy? Oh, lovely Nick and Amy. Exactly. Well, now, Carol, your time is now. Right, good luck. Carol, Thanks. 30 seconds, Nick. Your time starts now. Carol, in Coronation Street, what is Kevin Webster's occupation? Kevin is Webster. Kevin Webster. Is he a butcher, a mechanic, a doctor, or a factory owner? He's a mechanic, definitely. Oh, oh very sure. star. Brilliant. <laughs> OK, dinner's, dinner's on us. <laughs> All right, good on luck. There. Thank you. Bye. 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 Nick, it's only a grand, for goodness sake. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean... Dinner and wine, are we talking? Or just... <laughs> OK, now, are you going to play? Absolutely. Absolutely, you star. I hope she's right. Final answer. Yes. Yes. It's the right answer. You have two thousand pounds. Okay, we're still alive. Two thousand pounds. You got two thousand. Um, you came with nothing. See what happens. Question number seven is for four thousand pounds. You've still got a fifty-fifty. What kind of creature is the ant eater? Mammal. Amphibian. Reptile. Fish. Oh, I'm thinking a mammal for some I'm reason. I'm thinking mammal too. Are you? You want? Well, we not... both thought it was the same thing. It isn't a fish. It can't be a reptile because it's not. It's sort of creepy and <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> okay. And it doesn't. Amphibian means underwater. Under... No, I can't ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Let's 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 go let's for, go for, let's go for mammal. it. Let's go for it. Mammal. Mammal. It is. <laughs> Final answer. Yes. You just won four thousand pounds. You're a bit of a state you two, aren't you? Four thousand pounds. We can't get through a question easily. Right, now listen, you got four thousand pounds. You're three away from thirty-two thousand. You would lose three thousand pounds if you gave me a wrong answer. You guaranteed that thousand pounds. You have got a fifty-fifty. This is question number eight. You can double your money here for eight thousand. In which sport at the 2002 Winter Olympics did Prince Albert of Monaco compete? Snowboarding, ice hockey, bobsleigh, curling. Now it's worth eight thousand pounds. I remember seeing him. Where? Oh, he was in the gym. <laughs> That's what it was. There's not one down there called I know. being in the gym, is there? No, that is a shame. But he's probably in the gym getting ready to do one of those. Yeah, what would he be doing? He's too old to snoo snowboard. He's Are you what? sure? No, Michael snowboards. Does he? Okay. But snowboard in as in, in Olympics. I don't know. Let's let's put 50-50. 50-50. Okay. Yeah. Okay, computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Amy and Nick the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. So much for your snowboarding yeah, theory. Yeah. And curling's gone. Ice hockey or bobsleigh? One of those. I'd go for bobsleigh. Um, you got four thousand pounds. <laughs> you lose three thousand pounds. Do you think he's wrong. on ice hockey team? Well, he's the heir to the throne, and, and I don't think, means... don't think his parents would let him go down a bobsleigh track. Since when does he need his parents' permission? Well, <laughs> I might ask. <laughs> Wicked eating meeny miny mo. You follow your instincts. Amy, what do you think it is? You don't have to play this. You got four thousand. I just, pounds. um, 
I just think it's it's bobsled. Okay. It's a bit car racing me like. That's true. <laughs> yeah. You got four thousand pounds. You can walk away with four thousand. Let's gamble. Okay. <laughs> On what? Bobsled. <laughs> Bobsled. You remember Nick, you love yep. me. <laughs> Bobsled, I do, I do. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yes. You had four thousand pounds. It's the right answer. You got eight thousand pounds. <laughs> Eight grand, Nicky. You're looking a bit shaky at 300 <laughs> quid at one stage. <laughs> okay, you've got 8,000 pounds. Question number nine is for 16,000. You have no more lifelines. You can double your money here. Big drop here, guys. You would lose 7,000 pounds. So have a good look. You can walk away with 8,000 pounds. Here it comes. This is question number nine. Which museum houses the classical sculpture, the Venus de Milo? Prado. British Museum. Louvre. Rijksmuseum. You showed us that, didn't you? It's the Louvre. Yes. Without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt? Yeah. 100% confident? Yeah. Amy? He showed it to us. <laughs> First trip. <laughs> <laughs> That's promising. Yeah. Final answer. Yep. It's the right answer. You got £16,000. <laughs> Um, you've got 16,000 pounds. This is the one more you want. Question number 10 is for 32,000 pounds. By what name is the singer Florian Cloud de Boon Vial Armstrong known? Dido, Gabrielle, Enya, Sade. Do you have any idea? Not in the slightest. By it's what like, name is the French. singer Florian Claude de Boon Vial Armstrong known? Dido, Gabrielle, Enya, Sade. It's worth thirty-two thousand pounds. I don't think it's Sade. I've never heard Chardet. of Gabrielle. <laughs> I don't think it's Sade. I think she's Enya. Isn't she Scandinavian or something? I don't. Know. I mean, I, I lean don't towards know. A, but yeah, no. <laughs> back out. Back out. We're yeah. going to have to back out. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Final answer. Yes. Get the money. Yes. Your big hand. They go away. Nick and Amy leave us £16,000 better off. I can tell you. What would you have gone for if you had a. I'm leaning towards A. I'm leaning towards D. 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 All right. <laughs> oh, I don't think Nicely it's split a. then. I can tell you that Amy actually had got the right answer. Dido was the right answer. £32,000. Give them a big hand. They go away. £16,000. Well played. You got there. Well played. Thank you. Thank you.